All right, hello. What we're going to do is actually start a design and kind of walk you through it. And we're going to learn a couple new tools. If you haven't seen them already, it's the alignment tool, which will center things on top of each other or with each other. And the other is the duplicate and repeat tool. So go into Tinkercad and I'll kind of give you pause spots as we go. Click on create new design. Let's go up and change our title. Last name dash the project is called. This one is going to be called Spiral. We're going to edit grid 120, 120, and we're going to drag a ruler out. So go ahead and pause there. Next, we're going to bring a box out. It will be 20, 20, and 20. We're going to change these numbers. We are going to make it 25. So just click on the number and type in 25 and hit enter. Click on the number, 25, and hit enter. So it's 25 front to back, 25 sideways. And the height, we're going to change it down to 2. So all you got to do is click on the number and hit change it and hit enter. So you should have a rectangle 25, 25, and 2. Go ahead and pause there. Next, I don't want to see all this. So there's a little triangle here. If I can click that, and it'll just get rid of that so I have more space to see. Here's what I'm going to do. I want two more of these squares, but I want them to be identical. So I'm going to use this tool in the top left. It's called Duplicate and Repeat. It's right beside the trash can. So make sure your square is clicked, selected. Click Duplicate and Repeat. You'll notice the screen blinked, but nothing happened. Something did actually happen. You got a new square there. So grab it, pull it out. You now have two squares, 25, 25, and 2. What we're going to do is do that again. So I'm going to click my new square and duplicate it. Oh, and look, what happened is it remembered the pattern and it actually kind of moved it out to the side. If it didn't, click here, grab it, and pull it over. Either way, you should end up with three of them. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. This is our base, and we're going to use these two to actually make a ring. So pause if you need to to make sure you have 25, 25, and 2, and you have three of them. Next up, take the middle one, and I'm going to change it from a solid to a hole or ghost. So go ahead up here and click the solid or the ghost. You can change any object to a ghost. You don't always just have to use the ones they provide you. So go ahead and pause. Make sure the middle one is a ghost shape. Next up, we're going to change my ghost shape we are going to change it to 21 and 21. so go ahead and click on the middle shape and change the numbers to 21 and 21. it's still a height of two but we're changing it to 21 and 21. go ahead and pause there make sure that you are caught up next we are going to take these two shapes, the middle one and the right one, and try to make them squared up with each other. Now I can try to do this, but there's a simple tool in Tinkercad that lets us do it. I am going to select both of these so I can drag a square over top, or I can click one, hold shift down and click another. Either way, I can highlight both. So pause right there. Make sure you have both highlighted. With both highlighted now, I'm going to go up here above the lock icon, and there is this button called the alignment tool. Click on it, and all of a sudden we get these black circles that show up. What we want to be able to do is click the middle ones. There be left, middle, and right. Uh, 
would be the right side if you're looking at it that way, the middle. You'll notice the middle over here is gray. That means they're already lined up sideways. What I need to do is hit this middle one as well. So I'm gonna click that and click this middle one. So click both middles so that they have now turned gray. Go ahead and pause there. Now that you've centered both of these up, what I want to do is fuse them together. Now, take a look what happens when you fuse a ghost hole with a solid. Go ahead and select both. And the button right above the word shapes is the grouping button. Grouping, fusing, gluing, call it what you want. I'm going to click that button and notice the ghost will remove anything that was inside of it. So that's actually how you remove pieces from Tinkercad. So go ahead and pause there. I'll show you that step one more time. I align both of them, click the middle circles. I selected both and I hit the grouping button, which is control Z at G if you wanna use the buttons or click this button. Go ahead and pause, make sure you're at the same spot. Now, here's what we're gonna do. This is my base and this is going to be the rings that we build our spiral bowl with. What I need to do is not have them flat with each other. I need to raise my ring up so that it's just above my base. So I'm going to change the far right number. The far right number is how high it's off the board. So click on this, change it to the number two, and hit enter. And if you look, this is now two millimeters off the board, which will be directly over top. So go ahead and pause there. Make sure that your right side ring is two millimeters off the board. Now what we're going to do is align both. So select here. Let me just do this. Or I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him a little bit just so you can see the full effect of alignment. I'm going to select both of them. Go up here above the lock icon and click align. And notice I want the two center black circles. Click the center one and click the center one. And you'll notice that they are now perfectly aligned with each other. And I didn't have to mess with it. All right, so here's where the magic happens. <clears throat> I would pause there, by the way, make sure everyone's aligned. So what we're gonna do is take this ring so make sure you click on the ring. Notice we didn't group them. I just aligned them. Click on the ring. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to click the duplicate and repeat tool. And what it is, is it's a, almost like a computer program. It remembers what you did. And as long as you keep clicking it, it'll just keep doing that pattern. So watch how this happens. Pay attention first. I'll pause it. And then I'll go through it again so you can go with me. Click your ring. Go up and duplicate it. Now there's an extra ring there. I'm going to raise it another two millimeters. So over here, I'm gonna change this number to four and hit enter. So notice, not only do I have my first ring, but I now have my duplicated ring. Now notice I didn't click off of this at all. I still have it highlighted. What that means is the computer is remembering what I'm doing with it. So I duplicated it, I raised it. So step one is it's gonna raise it. Now step two, I want you to look down from the top and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to grab my turn arrow and I'm gonna rotate it four degrees. Now notice I still didn't click off of this shape. So what the duplicate and repeat tool is remembering right now is duplicate it, raise it to, and turn it four degrees. Now, watch what happens. If I don't ever click off of this, it remembers that pattern, and now I can go up and hit the duplicate button multiple times. Ready? Here we go. I can click this a whole bunch of times. And what it will do is remember the pattern I did and it will automatically do it for me. So it will raise and turn, raise and turn, raise and turn. And that's it. You are now done with your spiral bowl. So let me walk you back through this. Ready. 
step one. Just make sure I don't have duplicate there. Step one, click on your ring. Step two, click the duplicate button. Step three, raise it to a four and hit enter. Next step, look at it from the top, grab your turn arrow and turn it four degrees. Oh, mine's five, close enough. And hit your duplicate button. Now, if you hit your duplicate button and it's not going, that means you must have clicked off or it forgot the pattern. So just back yourself up, hit Control Z, get back to your starting point and try it again. Click the ring, hit your duplicate button, change the height from two to four, look at it from the top, your turn arrow may change. It may be here, it may be here. Grab your turn arrow, click and grab it, turn it to four, if you get to five, that's fine. And now duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. All right. So it gives you this kind of cool effect. You can actually zoom into it. You can actually put your viewpoint there. So I can actually undo, redo. You can actually kind of get like this cool 3D um, animation going on. All right, there's your spiral bowl. Now to finish this, I would grab all of it, group it. That way when you move it, it moves all together. Uh, if you don't do that, you're gonna move it. Hold on, let me ungroup it. If you don't do, if you don't group it, you're going to move it. Oh, there's a piece. Oh, there's a piece. Oh, there's a piece. You're going to have pieces everywhere and it's going to be all sorts of confusion. All right. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo all of that. And now we're grouped again. All right. Good luck. That's your spiral bowl.